In this video, we will review some tips and tricks on Jonas management system. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch the first part of the tips and tricks video on our YouTube channel, Jonas Club Management. At the top of your Jonas management system screen, there are two buttons available for you. You can also right click on the blank space of Jonas screen to access those buttons, other than selecting the buttons at the top. We will go through some of them that you might be using frequently. The support button is often used for our support team to get connected to your workstation through WebEx. There are three ways to use WebEx. First one is from the support button at the top left of the screen. Then from the login screen, you can enter WebEx on the username field and hit enter. It will bring up the same screen that you got from the support button. Or you can go directly to gjonasupport.webex.com. Our support team will provide you with the session number. The F7 key is the shortcut for the tools menu at the top of your Jonas screen. There are some useful tools here. Company phone book. You can add context to the company phone book. It is not necessarily for members only. This is useful if you'd like to share the context with everyone in the club. Personal phone book. Use this phone book to save a personal contact. The difference is that it can only be accessed with your credentials, so no one in the club has access to it unless they log in as you. Short form address. This is useful when you're entering some addresses to Jonas. Use this screen to create a code or a shortcut for a location and a description of it. For example, our H is set up for Richmond Hill, Ontario. We can go to the Setup or Edit Members window and type in the address code in the Home Address field and it will automatically put the address that was set in the Description field. Who's logged in? When running a Jonas update, you will need to make sure that all users in your club are logged out of Jonas. This button will show you which users are currently logged in. F8 is the key for bookmarks, which is also available at the top of your Jonas screen. You can use the bookmarks to quickly access another menu when you're on another screen. To add a new one, select the bookmarks button at the top of your Jonas screen or the F8 key on your keyboard, then select the menu that you'd like to add. Once it's added, you can always access the menu quickly from a bookmark from any window you're on. Other than bookmarks, you can also add some modules as your favorites. On the module screen, there should be a heart icon. You can select the heart icon so that it turns to a blue heart and the module will be added to the favorites section. The difference is you cannot access the favorites if you're currently on another window. If the favorites section doesn't appear for you, right click on the blank space of your Jonas screen and select enable favorites. The F9 key can be used in two ways. First is to open the Reports Reprint window, the same as the Reports button that is available at the top of the Jonas screen. This window stores the reports that you have printed with your account on that workstation a few days back. You can change how many days the report are stored by going to System Parameters, and you can set the number of days to store the reports. It is not recommended to have too many days as it might slow down your Jonas system. And the second function of the F9 key is to create quick reports in almost all programs. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more tips and tricks videos, and don't forget to subscribe.